My name is Reverend Andrew Roding. I'm the Church of Ireland Rector of St. Patrick's Church here in Ballyclog. And Ballyclog means the place of the bell. And for many, many years, we have associated with, with this, uh, this church uh, with a bell. That's the bell that's in the National Museum of Ireland in Dublin. It's an iron bell, which is believed to uh, be linked to St. Patrick. So we're called St. Patrick, uh, St. Patrick's Church. And we've always linked ourselves with this, uh, with this particular bell. And our understanding is that that bell was kept in the local area by the Mulholland family uh, down through generations for over 400 years. But now we are so delighted that we're not just associated with that iron bell, but with a real bell that was found in this area. The first bell to be found in over 100 years, where we know exactly where it was found. And it was found just across the road from this church, uh, near the old uh, St. Patrick's Ballyclog Church. And uh, not just found in isolation, but found with other uh, early Christian artifacts, uh, perhaps it would have been used to house relics and things like that. And so this, this really gives us uh, a deep sense that we are linked to Christian worship in this area for over a thousand years that there was probably a monastic community here in this area, and that this bell would have been rung by the monk or the leader of the community, calling people to prayer, perhaps on a daily basis. So it's really, really significant for us. And uh, more than that, we've had an opportunity to see this bell. So recently, a whole group of us, we filled a coach of Ballyclog parishioners, and we went to the Ulster Museum in Belfast, and we saw the bell beautifully situated in this lovely display with pictures of the old church and all sorts of information about how bells would be used. And I was so struck by how big the bell was. And it's not just an iron bell, but a bronze bell. And it's really quite a significant piece of bronze. And that really struck me thinking of someone thousand years ago uh, ringing this bell. So for us in Ballyclog, the discovery of this bell, uh, the location of this bell now in, in, the sort of, in a place of pride within uh, the Ulster Museum in Belfast, really contributes to a sense of pride for us and really makes us feel like we're on the map. You know, it's only a small community here, but we are, we are something very significant. And the, and, and the bell continues to ring out, I suppose, for our own worship here, uh, drawing people to God. And what's really nice about this bell is it's not just about us in terms of the Church of Ireland community. It's about everyone in this area. Because, of course, if this bell dates back a thousand years, this goes back before the Reformation, and before there was any division within Christianity, when Christianity on the island of Ireland would have been uh, one sort of uh, Celtic form of Christianity. And so this is a shared heritage for all the people connected to Ballyclog here in County Tyrone. And I really hope that, uh, you know, in the future we'll be able to build on this and reinforce a sense of community uh, as Christians of all different backgrounds or just as local people because we now have the Ballyclog Bell which uh, further reinforces our, our name as Ballyclog Place of the Bell and gives us the opportunity to celebrate our local heritage uh, together. So really it's a wonderful, uh, wonderful discovery and we're so pleased to be connected to it.